Hi guys, Amber here for Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, March 15th, 2016. I think it's actually well after 1 in the morning. And that's because it's been a very long night for me. I probably should be in bed now anyway, and I'm not. That's because I was up sewing. And most of you guys know I'm a night owl anyway. But the reason I'm up a little bit later than usual is because um, we had tornado warning tonight. And if you've been following for a little while, you know that I live about 20 minutes away from where uh, the 2013 Washington tornado hit. I, if you haven't heard about that, uh, you can Google it. It was a NEF4 tornado and it destroyed over a thousand houses and it, it was just really really bad thing um, I was fortunate uh, because I live on the other side of the river it didn't come anywhere near me we didn't have any damage or anything but I do have family in that area so uh, when the sirens went off tonight we went downstairs because that's what you do so no sewing for me for a couple hours um, I wanted to thank you guys for all your kind comments about the tour you guys all seem to love it and I'm hoping this weekend to get my pegboard, which is behind me right here, uh, finally up and in place behind me. I talked to my friend that's uh, agreed to help me do it, and we're kind of looking at this weekend to do it. So, fingers crossed. Um, so, I have been having kind of a rough week. I, um, I'm doing some class presentations for third graders, so 8 to 10 year olds, and while I, I love kids, I really do, I, I love kids, um, teaching kids is not what I like to do at all, um, and so I've been doing a lot of talking, and of course with the weather being as wonky as it is, I've also got sinuses, and I feel a sore throat, and I've still got to do two days worth of classes, so wish me luck. Um, anyway, so that's two minutes of me rambling, and you're really here to see what's going on with my craft life, right? So, thankfully, now that almost everything's in place, I've been able to get back to sewing again. So, um, I've had a good time of catching up with my testing duties, and, um, I only have a couple things I can show you, and that's my six-inch blocks for... March for my favorite things. So the rotary cutter and the scissors. I'm very pleased with how these came out. Um, so they are going back on my design wall uh, after tonight. And still got a couple more to test on that. It's late. Sorry guys. Um, the other thing I can't show you, and I really wish I could because I'm about halfway done on it, um, but I will probably have to finish it tomorrow because if I'm tired now and it's still going to take me another 20 minutes to upload this and everything, it's not happening tonight. But, speaking of Washington, which is where the tornado hit, um, two and a half years ago, I went there over the weekend because you know, it's getting to that time of year in the U.S. when um, the government will give you back your money if you force them, aka taxes. And so I went and spent some of my tax return, uh, got a few things at my favorite quilt shop. So this was one of the things I got. This is a fat quarter and it's um, motor marbles. My mom picked that one out. It's purple, obviously. And then I got some nice grayish brown and some gold, which the colors aren't coming up that spectacularly on here. Sorry, guys. Then I kind of went hog wild. And I must really have a thing for their crackles because I picked up some purple some gray, some gold, another purplish mauve color, 
some orange. And those are all half yards. Then I got a yard of this uh, rusty orange color. Kind of matches my wall behind me. I got a yard of this kind of teal, light teal color. And I got a little over a yard of this because it was like remnant, extra, whatever. I still charge you for the whole thing, but so I got those. And so as I was at the cutting counter waiting for things, my mom was wandering around. And she's like, Ooh, Amber, you should buy some of this. So I said, I said, Well, what would I make with it? And she said, I don't know, something for me. I said, Well, if you want a pillowcase, I'll make you a pillowcase. And she said, Okay. So I ended up getting this. It has sparklies in it. And it's a Timeless Treasures fabric. It's called Palazzo. And sparkles and really wavy. And the ladies were all talking about how they would have been perfect for some kind of 70s uh, pants. And so they, they were all having a good old time with it. And I said, you're getting a pillowcase. I'm not making you pants. So there's my shopping excursion. Then I came home and did some more shopping because I was actually hoping that my shop would have um, some fabric I was looking for. And they didn't. So I went ahead and ordered it online. And it's due to arrive Thursday, maybe Friday. So fingers crossed and we will probably have another show and tell next week with that and hopefully next week I'll be able to show you my new pegboard behind me. So I think that's it for me and oh just a reminder I am the prize giver for uh, Talk To Me Tuesday for the month of March and you guys know how this goes for every video you post and put it in the live journal TTMT group for the month of March um, gets you an entry to win a prize. I have a nice little prize box started for whoever the winner is. Um, just waiting on hearing who so that I can personalize it a bit. And I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.